The Atacama Desert Spanish, Desierta de Atacama is a desert plateau in South America covering a 1,000 km 600 mi strip of land on the Pacific coast, west of the Andes Mountains. The Atacama Desert is one of the driest places in the world the driest being the McMurdo Dry Valleys, as well as the only true desert to receive less precipitation than the polar deserts. According to estimates, the Atacama Desert occupies 105,000 square kilometers, 41,000 square miles, or 128,000 square kilometers, 49,000 square miles if the barren lower slopes of the Andes are included. Most of the desert is composed of stony terrain, salt lakes, salares, sand, and felsic lava that flows towards the Andes. The desert owes its extreme aridity to a constant temperature inversion due to the cool north flowing Humboldt Ocean Current, and to the presence of the strong Pacific anticyclone. The most arid region of the Atacama Desert is situated between two mountain chains the Andes and the Chilean Coast Range of sufficient height to prevent moisture advection from either the Pacific or the Atlantic Oceans, a two-sided rain shadow. Topic. Setting. Topic. According to the World Wide Fund for Nature, the Atacama Desert ecoregion occupies a continuous strip for nearly 1,600 kilometers along the narrow coast of the northern third of Chile, from near Arica 18 degrees 24 s southward to near La Serena 29 degrees 55 s. The National Geographic Society considers the coastal area of southern Peru to be part of the Atacama Desert and also includes the desert south of the Ica region in Peru. Peru borders it on the north and the Chilean Matoral ecoregion borders it on the south. To the east lies the less arid central Andean dry Puna ecoregion. The drier portion of this ecoregion is located south of the Loa River between the parallel Sierra Vicuña Mackenna and Cordillera Domeco. To the north of the Loa lies the Pampa del Tamarugal. The coastal cliff of northern Chile west of the Chilean coast range is the main topographical feature of the coast. The geomorphology of the Atacama Desert has been characterized as a low relief bench, similar to a giant uplifted terrace, by Armillo and co workers. The Intermediate Depression or Central Valley forms a series of endoric basins in much of Atacama Desert south of latitude 19 degrees 30 s. North of this latitude, the Intermediate Depression drains into the Pacific Ocean. Topic. Climate Topic. Although the almost total lack of precipitation is the most prominent characteristic of the Atacama Desert, exceptions may occur. In July 2011, an extreme Antarctic cold front broke through the rain shadow, bringing 80 cm of snow to the plateau, stranding residents across the region, particularly in Bolivia, where many drivers became stuck in snowdrifts and emergency crews became overtaxed with a large number of rescue calls. In 2012, the Altiplano winter brought floods to San Pedro de Atacama. On 25 March 2015, heavy rainfall affected the southern part of the Atacama Desert. Resulting floods triggered mudflows that affected the cities of Copiapo, Tierra Amarilla, Chanaral, and Diego de Almagro, causing the deaths of more than 100 people. Aridity The Atacama Desert is commonly known as the driest nonpolar place in the world, especially the surroundings of the abandoned Yungay town in Antofagasta region, Chile. The average rainfall is about 15 mm per year, although some locations, such as Arica and Aquiqua, receive 1 to 3 mm in a year. Moreover, some weather stations in the Atacama have never received rain. Periods up to four years have been registered with no rainfall in the central sector, delimited by the cities of Antofagasta, Calama, and Copiapo, in Chile. Evidence suggests that the Atacama may not have had any significant rainfall from 1570 to 1971. The Atacama Desert may be the oldest desert on Earth, and has experienced extreme hyperaridity for at least 3 million years, making it the oldest continuously arid region on Earth. The long history of aridity raises the possibility that supergene mineralization, under the appropriate conditions, can form in arid environments, instead of requiring humid conditions. Geological research suggests that in some sections of the Atacama Desert, such as in today, 
s Chile, hyperaridity has persisted for the last 200 million years since the Triassic, competing only with Africa's Namib Desert for such a title. The Atacama is so arid that many mountains higher than 6,000 meters feet are completely free of glaciers. Only the highest peaks such as Ojos del Salado, Monte Pisces, and Luyalaco have some permanent snow coverage. The southern part of the desert, between 25 and 27 degrees south, may have been glacier-free throughout the Quaternary including during glaciations, though permafrost extends down to an altitude of 4,400 meters 14,400 feet and is continuous above 5,600 meters 18,400 feet. Studies by a group of British scientists have suggested that some river beds have been dry for 120,000 years. However, some locations in the Atacama receive a marine fog known locally as the Kamanchaka, providing sufficient moisture for hypolithic algae, lichens, and even some cacti. The genus Copiapoa is notable among these. Geographically, the aridity of the Atacama is explained by it being situated between two mountain chains the Andes and the Chilean coast range of sufficient height to prevent moisture advection from either the Pacific or the Atlantic Oceans, a two-sided rain shadow. Topic. Comparison to Mars Topic. In a region about 100 kilometers 60 miles south of Antofagasta, which averages 3,000 meters 10, feet in elevation, the soil has been compared to that of Mars. Owing to its otherworldly appearance, the Atacama has been used as a location for filming Mars scenes, most notably in the television series Space Odyssey, Voyage to the Planets. In 2003, a team of researchers published a report in which they duplicated the tests used by the Viking 1 and Viking 2 Mars landers to detect life, and were unable to detect any signs in Atacama desert soil in the region of Yungay. The region may be unique on Earth in this regard, and is being used by NASA to test instruments for future Mars missions. The team duplicated the Viking tests in Mars-like Earth environments and found that they missed present signs of life in soil samples from Antarctic dry valleys, the Atacama Desert of Chile and Peru, and other locales. However, in 2014, a new hyperarid site was reported, Maria Elena South, which was much drier than Yungay, and thus, a better Mars-like environment. In 2008, the Phoenix Mars lander detected perchlorates on the surface of Mars at the same site where water was first discovered. Perchlorates are also found in the Atacama and associated nitrate deposits have contained organics, leading to speculation that signs of life on Mars are not incompatible with perchlorates. The Atacama is also a testing site for the NASA-funded Earth-Mars Cave Detection Program. <laughs> Flora in spite of the geographic and climatic conditions of the desert, a rich variety of flora has evolved there. Over 500 species have been gathered within the border of this desert. These species are characterized by their extraordinary ability to adapt to this extreme environment. Most common species are the herbs and flowers such as thyme, ureta, and saltgrass and where humidity is sufficient, trees such as the chanyar the pimiento tree, and the leafy algarobo The ureta is one of the highest growing wood species in the world. It is found at altitudes between 3,000 and 5,000 meters and feet. Its dense form is similar to a pillow some 3 to 4 meters 9.8 to 13.1 feet thick. It concentrates and retains the heat from the day to cope with low evening temperatures. The growth rate of the ureta has been recently estimated at about 1.5 centimeters per year, making many uretas over 3,000 years old. It produces a much prized resin, which the mining industry once harvested indiscriminately as fuel, making this plant endangered. The desert is also home to cacti, succulents, and other plants that thrive in a dry climate. Cactus species here include the candelabro Browningia condylaris and cardan Echinopsis atacamensis, which can reach a height of 7 meters feet and a diameter of 70 centimeters in. The Atacama Desert flowering Spanish, Desierta Florido can be seen from September to November in years with sufficient precipitation, as happened in 2015. Fauna 
The climate of the Atacama Desert limits the number of animals living permanently in this extreme ecosystem. Some parts of the desert are so arid, no plant or animal life can survive. Outside of these extreme areas, sand-colored grasshoppers blend with pebbles on the desert floor, and beetles and their larvae provide a valuable food source in the Lomas hills. Desert wasps and butterflies can be found during the warm and humid season, especially on the Lomas. Red scorpions also live in the desert. A unique environment is provided by some Lomas, where the fog from the ocean provides enough moisture for seasonal plants and a few animal species. Surprisingly few reptile species inhabit the desert and even fewer amphibian species. Chaunus atacamensis, the Valinor toad or Atacama toad, lives on the Lomas, where it lays eggs in permanent ponds or streams. Iguanas and lava lizards inhabit parts of the desert, while salt flat lizards, Leolimus, live in the dry areas bordering the ocean. One species, Leolimus fabiani, is endemic to the Salar de Atacama, the Atacama salt flat. Birds are probably the largest animal group in the Atacama. Humboldt penguins live year round along the coast, nesting in desert cliffs overlooking the ocean. On salt flats both near the Pacific and inland, Andean flamingos flock to eat algae. Other birds including species of hummingbirds and sparrows visit the lomas seasonally to feed on insects, nectar, seeds, and flowers. The lomas help sustain several threatened species, such as the endangered Chilean woodstar. Because of the desert, S extreme aridity, only a few specially adapted mammal species live in the Atacama, such as Darwin's leaf-eared mouse. The less arid parts of the desert are inhabited by the South American gray fox and the Viscacha, a relative of the chinchilla. Larger animals, such as guanacos and vicuñas, graze in areas where grass grows, mainly because it is seasonally irrigated by melted snow. Vicuñas need to remain near a steady water supply, while guanacos can roam into more arid areas and survive longer without fresh water. Seals and sea lions often gather along the coast. <laughs> Human presence the Atacama is sparsely populated, with most towns located along the Pacific coast. In interior areas, oases and some valleys have been populated for millennia and were the location of the most advanced pre-Columbian societies found in Chile. <laughs> Chinchorro culture the Chinchorro culture developed in the Atacama Desert area from 7000 to 1500 BCE. These peoples were sedentary fishermen inhabiting mostly coastal areas. Their presence is found from today's towns of Ilo, in southern Peru, to Antofagasta in northern Chile. Presence of fresh water in the arid region on the coast facilitated human settlement in these areas. The Chinchorro were famous for their detailed mummification and funerary practices. In later times, the Atacama oases experienced little population growth and urban development. During the 20th century, they have had conflicts over water resources with the coastal cities and the mining industry. San Pedro de Atacama, at about 2,400 meters (8,000 feet) elevation, is like many of the small towns. Before the Inca Empire and prior to the arrival of the Spanish, the extremely arid interior was inhabited primarily by the Atacameño tribe. They are noted for building fortified towns called Pucaras, one of which is located a few kilometers from San Pedro de Atacama. The town's church was built by the Spanish in 1577. The coastal cities originated in the 16th, 17th, and 18th centuries during the time of the Spanish Empire, when they emerged as shipping ports for silver produced in Potosi and other mining centers. During the 19th century, the desert came under control of Bolivia, Chile, and Peru. With the discovery of sodium nitrate deposits and as a result of unclear borders, the area soon became a zone of conflict and resulted in the War of the Pacific. Chile annexed most of the desert, and cities along the coast developed into international ports, hosting many Chilean workers who migrated there. With the guano and saltpeter booms of the 19th century, the population grew immensely, mostly as a result of immigration from central Chile. In the 20th century, the nitrate industry declined, and at the same time, the largely male population of the desert became increasingly problematic for the Chilean state. Miners and mining companies came into conflict, and protests spread throughout the region. Abandoned nitrate mining towns 
Topic. The desert has rich deposits of copper and other minerals and the world's largest natural supply of sodium nitrate, which was mined on a large scale until the early 1940s. The Atacama border dispute over these resources between Chile and Bolivia began in the 19th century and resulted in the War of the Pacific. The desert is littered with about 170 abandoned nitrate or saltpeter. Mining towns, almost all of which were shut down decades after the invention of synthetic nitrate in Germany at the turn of the 20th century see Haber process. The towns include Chacabuco, Humberstone, Santa Laura, Pedro de Valdivia, Puelma, Maria Elena, and Oficina Anita. The Atacama Desert is rich in metallic mineral resources such as copper, gold, silver, and iron, as well as nonmetallic minerals including important deposits of boron, lithium, sodium nitrate, and potassium salts. The Salar de Atacama is where biscophyte is extracted. These resources are exploited by various mining companies such as Codelco, Lomas Bayas, Mantos Blancos, and Soquimich. <laughs> Astronomical observatories because of its high altitude, nearly non-existent cloud cover, dry air, and lack of light pollution and radio interference from widely populated cities and towns, this desert is one of the best places in the world to conduct astronomical observations. The European Southern Observatory operates two major observatories in the Atacama. La Silla Observatory Paranal Observatory, which includes the very large telescope a new radio astronomy telescope, called the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, built by European countries, Japan, the United States, Canada, and Chile in the Lano de Chinanter Observatory officially opened on 3 October 2011. A number of radio astronomy projects, such as the CBI, the ASTE and the ACT, among others, have been operating in the Chinanter area since 1999. Other uses Topic. Topic. Sports Topic. The Atacama Desert is popular with all-terrain sports enthusiasts. Various championships have taken place here, including the Lower Atacama Rally, Lower Chile Rally, Patagonia Atacama Rally, and the latter Dakar Rallies editions. The rally was organized by the Amori Sport Organization and held in 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012. The dunes of the desert are ideal rally races located in the outskirts of the city of Copiapo. The 2013 Dakar 15-day rally started on 5 January in Lima, Peru, through Chile, Argentina and back to Chile finishing in Santiago. Visitors also use the Atacama Desert Sand Dunes for sandboarding Spanish, duna. A week-long foot race called the Atacama Crossing has the competitors cross the various landscapes of the Atacama. An event called Volcano Marathon takes place near the Lascar Volcano in the Atacama Desert. Topic: <laughs> Solar car racing. Topic: 18 solar-powered cars were displayed in front of the Presidential Palace, La Manita, in Santiago in November 2012. The cars were then raced 1,300 kilometers (810 miles) through the desert from 15 to 19 November 2012. Topic: Tourism. Topic: Most people who go to tour the sites in the desert stay in the town of San Pedro de Atacama. The Atacama Desert is in the top three tourist locations in Chile. The specially commissioned ESO hotel is reserved for astronomers. Topic: El Tadio Geyser. Topic: About 80 geysers occur in a valley about 80 kilometers from the town of San Pedro de Atacama. They are closer to the town of Chu Chu. Topic: Termas Baños de Puritama. Topic. The Baños de Puritama are rock pools which are 37 miles from the geysers. Topic. Gallery Topic. Topic. Protected areas 
Topic Panda Zucar National Park Pampa del Tamarugal National Reserve La Chimba National Reserve Topic Legends Topic Alicanto Atacama Giant Topic See also Topic Topic References Topic Topic Notes Topic Topic Bibliography Topic Topic External Links Topic. Mars like soils in the Atacama Desert, Chile, and the dry limit of microbial life. NASA press release. Roving robot finds desert life. Article in Nature. A lady in the Atacama Desert. From the travel blog A Lady in London. Detailed article issued by the Geological Society of America on the history of aridity of the Atacama Desert. Atacama Desert Photo Gallery, photos of many different landscapes, flora and fauna of the Atacama Desert Technical specifications of the EELT acronym for European Extremely Large Telescope